So, lords and ladies, it's Cupcake Kavar again with Moderately Classy. It's been a minute. My head's been cut off. I appreciate that. Give me a second. That's better. It's been a minute, lords and ladies, and frankly, it's because I had a lot to think about. Recently, events have happened that made me rethink everything again. And I found out that I can't live like everyone else. It's almost like life doesn't allow me to. I try and do the obligatory thing, get a nine to five job, you know, make money, whatever. Money's good, I like money. But always, always something happens. I like to write on the side. Um, I actually kind of enjoy this. I don't do it very often, but I do enjoy doing this. And it seems like every time I try and work on my writing or anything like that, something happens to punt me out of normal society. It's constraints. And I guess I've have to come to the conclusion that in my life, I can't be comfortable necessarily and follow what I feel my calling is. I feel like I should write something about that. Maybe I will. Um, if I do, I'll put a link in the description below. But and from what I've looked around, I seem to see a lot of the same things. People who can't fit in have to find their own place and I guess that's where I am right now I'm trying to find where I fit in I'm kind of across the board I have a lot of interests I will try and discuss physics as much as I'll try and discuss why Darling and the Franks is strangely appealing despite its over sexualization that's an interesting topic right there. Um, I like photography. I like dis discussing design. And strangely, even though I don't go to movies a lot, I do just like discussing movies, good movies, and what they're saying or not saying. You can't be comfortable in your calling. And that does not mean that you can't develop a comfort. I think that what I mean is your initial steps are probably going to be very uncomfortable. They're not going to be nice necessarily. And in fact, it's like making a habit that you're not used to, recalibrating the way you think, the way you feel, the way you process the world around you. Because as I've come to notice, we don't necessarily experience the world always as it is. We experience the world more so in how we perceive it. With that being the case, not only do I need to find my own place, I need to change the way I perceive the world as well. The way I want to perceive the world. Now this is not necessarily in just, you know, in condoning the fact that, you know, you should live in this fantasy world, no, but if you focus on a negative, you'll get negative. And if that means taking a media fast, like I did for a while, so be it. Or calib or curating curating what you see, what you allow yourself to see. I don't know. Oh god. This is um, Irish whiskey from Tea and Absinthe. I haven't had this in a minute and I forgot how much I love it so much. Mm. Oh god. Dang it. God, I hate this. You see this? Can you focus on this camera for me? I just did my nails. Look at that. Chips. Chips. 
It's ridiculous. I knew we shouldn't have played Monster Hunter so hard last night. Anyway. It's an ongoing process for me. Getting comfortable in my calling, or maybe another title for this could be getting comfortable in my own skin. I don't know. I'm kind of awkward. I'm kind of not what you expect. Um, when you look at me, I don't look like what people think I should look like. I don't know. When people hear me on the phone, they think I'm something else and they are always shocked when they see me in person. I don't know. I'm not sure I even want to be in anybody's box anymore. I'm kind of tired. I'm tired of trying to fit in. And I think that's what this is about. This channel, this, my blog, what, that's what it's about. Yes, I, I'm across the board. That's part of who I am. Now, there's always a bent to it, and that bent is me. And the things that always affect me. I mean, yes, I am a nerd in a traditional sense. I love anime. I love video games. I love comic books. I love movies. Yes, I love reading books. This is in one of my four bookshelves. One of four five-shelf bookshelves. And I have read every book on it just about. I think I only have one row of books I haven't fully finished reading. I love manga. I have a collection of video games. I'm start. I'm trying to play Nino Kuni, the new update of Tekken, as well as uh, Monster Hunter, and I haven't even started Horizon Zero Dawn yet. I don't want to hear it. I know I'm late. There's a lot of games I'm late on. Never finished Fallout 4 either. Doesn't change the fact that I love it. And yet, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with me being all those things. And I don't think that's necessarily bad. Maybe the awkwardness will never go away. Maybe I should be okay with that too. I wish I could say I was sad at kind of throwing in the towel with trying to fit in, so to speak. But ironically, the path I'm going to choose now might be more difficult. Maybe I have to carve out my own place in the world. Maybe I already have started. I don't know. I know this is my first step. Some people say first steps are the hardest. I don't necessarily think first steps are the hardest. I think steps... I think the 20th step, this, the 30th step, the 50th step are the hardest, not because it's habit, but because sometimes you get tired, you get worn down, or maybe even you think it's not worth doing because it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Those steps to me are harder. Because if you don't necessarily see any benefit to what you're doing, you stop. I don't know. I've been thinking about it a lot. I've had time to think about it. And that's one of the reasons why I hadn't posted anything in a very long time. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to be, what I wanted to do. And finally, I'm just going to kind of give up and just be me. Now, I don't think this will be a vlogging channel because frankly, for me, I'm not that type of person per se. I will have commentary, but I'm not necessarily a vlog in a traditional sense. This is more of an exploration situations. And 
understandings. No, I don't think I'm going to categorize myself per se. I am who I am. And if I want to go from talking about Jane Austen to Deadpool, I will. Why? Because I don't fit into a box. And I'm getting more and more okay with that. Though honestly, probably the first thing would be probably a video game. Because let's face it, I'm like neck deep in games I haven't finished yet. I won't necessarily be doing Let's Plays because frankly, I think I would be horrible at them. However, I would like to put my commentary over certain scenes. So. This is Cupcake Kavara, and thank you for letting me ramble. This is moderately classy.